Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. When the song meter mini bat is powered on, it emits a Bluetooth beacon every few seconds. This function uses negligible battery power. The Bluetooth beacon includes a status update of the current condition of the song meter mini bat recorder. This status beacon is received by an Android or iOS device running the Song Meter Mini Configurator app, which is a free download from the Apple App Store or Google Play. The Song Meter Mini Bat Recorder does not need to be paired with the Configurator app in order for the app to receive the status beacon. This enables remote status monitoring of the song meter mini bat up to 9 to 18 meters away without having to physically access the recorder. The first time the configurator app receives the Bluetooth status beacon, the song meter mini bat is listed in the recorder's screen. It is possible to clear a listed song meter mini bat from the recorder screen, but the next time the recorder is detected by the configurator app, it will be relisted. Multiple song meter minis can be detected and listed separately in the recorder screen. If a detected recorder is powered off or out of Bluetooth range, it remains listed in the recorder's screen. Listed recorders can be sorted by last time detected or recorder name. At the bottom of the recorder screen are tabs to switch between the recorder screen, the configuration library screen, or the app info screen. The configuration library is used to save and edit configuration files for the song meter mini bat. Configuration files are explained in detail in a separate video. The app info screen provides general information about the configurator app, such as version number, built-in user guide, frequently asked questions, and direct contact access to wildlife acoustics technical support. Let's go back to the recorders screen. Under the name of the listed song meter mini bat is text describing the last time a status update was received from the recorder by the configurator app. If the recorder is currently powered on and within Bluetooth range, the received time will be listed as just now. Each listed recorder has a status icon on the right. Tap the status icon to open the status screen. If the song meter mini bat recorder is not currently detected via Bluetooth beacon, the status screen displays the status of the recorder at the time it was last detected. If the recorder is currently powered on and within Bluetooth range, the status screen is continually updated with real-time information from the recorder. Let's explore what the status screen describes. Starting from the top, we see the last time status was updated, and an icon and text describing whether the song meter mini bat is currently paired or unpaired with the configurator app. Next is the storage information. Space used on the SD memory card is listed by percentage and actual gigabytes. The total size of the SD memory card is listed as well as available memory space and the number of recording files currently on the card. Below the storage information is the recorder name and serial number. If a custom name has not been assigned to the recorder, the name is the serial number. Next, we see internal temperature, which can be displayed in centigrade or Fahrenheit. There is the current battery charge, viewable as percentage or actual voltage. The status screen displays the currently programmed recording schedule in the song meter mini bat. If one of the stock preset schedules are used, the schedule is listed by name. If a schedule has been customized, it will be listed as custom schedule. The current recorder time shows either the time at which the song meter mini bat was last detected by the configurator app, or it will show the current real time if the song meter mini bat is currently paired with the configurator app. Start time of current recording shows either when the current recording schedule block was commenced or if the song meter mini bat is not currently running a recording schedule block, start time of next recording will be displayed. Next or current recording length displays the length of the current or next recording schedule block. This section shows whether the optional acoustic microphone is connected. And the last piece of information is the current firmware version of the SongMeter Mini Bat Recorder. So far, all of the information we see here is available without having to pair the SongMeter Mini Bat Recorder with the Configurator app. 
It doesn't make any difference if the SongMeter Minibat is currently running a recording schedule block or is sleeping in between schedule blocks. As long as the SongMeter Minibat is powered on and the mobile device running the Configurator app is within Bluetooth range, this status information is immediately available. But there are several additional features when the SongMeter Minibat is paired with the Configurator app. I'll hold down the pair button on the recorder and tap the pair icon in the Configurator app. The SongMeter Minibat is now paired with the Configurator app. I'll tap on the Configure icon and that displays the Paired Configuration Editor screen. Notice this parameter, which is described as Send Bluetooth Beacons. This parameter is only available from the Paired Configuration Editor screen. By default, it is enabled. But it is possible to disable this function. Now the SongMeter Minibat will not automatically send out Bluetooth beacons, including the status update. The SongMeter Minibat will now not be able to be detected by the Configurator app remotely. The only way the Configurator app will see the SongMeter Minibat is if the pair button on the recorder is pressed and held. The SongMeter Minibat will then be available for pairing in the Configurator app, and when pairing is complete, that's when the status information is sent from the recorder to the app. When the recorder is currently paired with the app, the status screen shows whether the SongMeter Minibat is drawing power from the AA batteries or the lithium-ion battery lid. If the SongMeter Minibat is not currently running a recording schedule, no audio level meter will be displayed and text will confirm the recording status. If the SongMeter Minibat is currently running an ultrasonic recording schedule block, an ultrasonic level meter will be displayed that will show if any signal is present at the microphone. If the SongMeter Minibat has the optional acoustic microphone installed and either an ultrasonic or acoustic schedule block is currently running, two audio level meters will be displayed which represent the ultrasonic and acoustic microphones. This allows a quick visual status check to make sure either microphone is working properly. Thank you for watching.